Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. What we're just going to be doing today, we're going to be showing you some footage that we've had recorded from a local bit of land, one of the local shooters, just showing what the Pulsar DigiX N450 is all about. It's just scanning the field, just seeing the clarity against some deer, and some rabbits running around and the badger coming down the field. Obviously, you're able to see what these are with no real difficulty. It's a crisp, clear image, quite easy to see. So this next bit is 218 yards away. Obviously that's panning around the field, that's an average of that, and you can see a good bit of detail. Now one thing I do like about this, if you look at the video there, you can see the anti-cant indicators on the left and right hand side of the screen. So you're never gonna be missing that shot from canting your rifle without realizing, which obviously if you're stood on the slope, aiming down the rifle, sometimes you'll be holding the gun at a cant and you won't realize because the ground you're looking at is also sloped. So it's a nice feature on that. Just one thing to also mention with this, these are all filmed using the standard IR that comes with the Pulsar N450. So obviously if you do want to upgrade that, use a better IR with it, you should get better image quality. So obviously this is showing you what the difference is when you have the IR on compared to it being off. I mean, even with it off, you can still see that there's something in the field. It's a really, really good bit of kit. It allows a load of light in from it without actually needing the IR set. So we're just gonna go for a few more videos now just to let you get a glimpse of things and see what it's like on different magnifications and at different ranges. One thing to also note on this, obviously as you can see in the um, videos as we've gone through, shows you the battery life on the unit of the onboard battery and also your additional battery um, that's hidden in the top turret of the unit. Obviously this allows you to have real-time viewing of what, what levels you are and also gives you plenty of time to change that over if you need be if it is running low and you know you're going to be out for a few more hours. So guys thanks for watching that was a quick rundown of the image quality you're going to get for a Pulsar N450 Digix. Obviously, play around with the settings, change your IR around. You can probably get a better image than that. This is just using the standard IR that comes with it and giving you a, a good overview of what you should expect from that unit. So if there's any more you'd like to see, please drop us a message or give us a call and we'll get something sorted for you soon. Thanks for watching.